so this next article, Twitter is suspending accounts that share video of Americans beheading. Did you see this, Ryan? Um, I did not, and that kind of makes me want to see it. I now. saw every part of it <laughs> until the head getting cut off because I saw it online on like a. It was some weird website. When I went on the website, I was for sure thinking my laptop was going to crash. Like it was a really sketchy site. Yeah. Like it had a pic of Obama with like a Hitler mo- facial hair. Like it's just like <laughs> that's not a good sign already. <laughs> yeah, you're like get the hell out of <laughs> yeah. here immediately. That sounds like a virus. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I didn't see it. I, I don't plan to see it. I don't want to see anybody dying like that. But, yeah, uh, so the Twitterverse is suspending accounts that post horrifying footage of terrorists from the Islamic State of Iraq and Lebanon, and that's also known as ISIS. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, ISIS, yeah. Yeah, um, uh, um, for apparently beheading American journalist James Foley. Twitter CEO Dick Costello uh, made the announcement via his own account in the wee hours of the morning on Wednesday, and this well, was his tweet. Here's the weird thing when I hear the word ISIS. Uh, have you guys seen the show Archer on FX? Uh, I've, I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. They're a bunch of, like, agents, and the name of their agency is ISIS. So as, like, an Archer geek, every time I hear about ISIS... Well, is it like a play on this actual group, or that just happens to be I think it's just the, the name. It just happens to be the name, and every time I hear... Well, that's I unfortunate. Hear, but yeah. Every time I hear... The name ISIS is just weird to like. Oh yeah, sure. So, I just so anyway, keep thinking of Archer. So anyway, here was the tweet by the guy who runs Twitter, which his name's Dick Costola, which I did not know. We have been and are actively suspending accounts as we discover them related to this graphic imagery. Thank you. Uh, so that's, that's what he said. The video only lasted a short while on YouTube before being taken down. Though this, uh, though this being the internet, it's still not terribly hard to find. Um, so yeah, and then there's a couple tweets from people who you know said that they're sick after watching that. video. Read some of the tweets. I want to hear what they think. I'm just uh, curious. They say overall. it's a phony video. Uh, Whoever I, said I that know. can phony shut up. Video. Oh yeah, it's not real that his head got cut off. Shut up. Just like the people <laughs> who said that 9/11 didn't happen, that Robin didn't die. These people who have nothing going on with their lives want to complain about something. Hey, it's not real. It's real. The mom. The anonymous said, people on websites. A bunch right. of punks. Say so, it to the mom's face. So, so a couple people said, you know, just sick after watching the Foley video, uh, just horrifying. And then someone else said, I don't like that, or um, I don't like that. Even when I try to avoid terrible images, I end up seeing them by accident a- anyway. This is a flaw in social media. Would you agree with that, Ryan? What? Absolutely. Uh, I I don't like that. Even when I'm trying to avoid terrible images, I end up seeing them by accident anyway. I know that that happened to you uh, with something like last week right ryan oh yeah i'm on the facebook main feed and heaven Were forbid you i to get in someone put uh, another picture well, on here's the here's the thing with the <laughs> facebook main feed i don't care if i see pics of you on ecstasy i just laugh at you i don't care if i see posts about you and how you're mad at your boyfriend i don't care i don't care if i see pics of your kids that's cute. that's why there's the I, I don't care follow I... button on facebook yeah, yeah. unfollow your post because <laughs> those posts are at least real nothing makes me more sick I was eating, and I saw a picture of, like, a pimple or something. It was some spam account. It's like, click to see what happens next. <laughs> no! No! Not interested to see what happens next. And there's some <laughs> other pimples on sketchier parts of your body. I literally, and I think you guys get the point. Like, <laughs> it's so sickening. Like, get your act together, Zuckerberg. You're too busy dumping a bucket of water on your head, looking like a dork, doing it the most uncool way. Hey, is it Mark Zuckerberg? And I'm taking part in the Ice Bucket Challenge. By the uh, way, check I out. I hate uh, his voice. Check out our epic video that we made for the Ice Bucket Challenge for Hoppy, where we got yeah. fired. I will tweet that out <laughs> right now. But here's the thing. Here's my point. What I hate on Facebook, Ryan, is the spam where it shows like pimples, which is really gross. Or recently, it's like, come check out the last cell phone video ever of Robin Williams. Don't you think that video, if it was real, would have came out two weeks ago? I know it's spam, but all these dumb girls are putting in the comment section. <laughs> I clicked on it, and it's asking for my Facebook password. Is this really Robin? <laughs> Do you think this would have been Robin pro- wants your Facebook password. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Up in heaven. Do you really think that this is the first time that video came out from some spam account on you? Facebook, or do you think TMZ would have been all on it? Think about it. Now, here's, here's my what, other yeah. thing. Here's my other thing real quick. It's so sickening about Facebook. It's so awful. They have spam on there. I don't know if it's a real pick or not. 
It seems kind of real. It must have been taken from somewhere. It's Robin Williams' dead head. And it's like, come see how he killed himself. And that's spam. People aren't putting that up. But when your account gets hacked, they put this gross spam on your profile. Like, you have to imagine what type of a sick person would make this spam. That would make pimple spam. That would make dead body spam. And then, like, three years ago, there were dead dogs laying in a hot tub on Facebook. Like, what's going on with that site? Have you guys seen this? No, I've just seen me. That. Have you guys ever had, had something where it's like someone shares something? How and have said, you guys never seen you, it? If you, like, and it says if you want to watch it, you have to share it on your own profile. And then when you click it's on it. Spam. And then you click on it. Yeah, and it says. You have to share it on your own profile. You have to answer, like, questions, making sure that you're a human being. Like, I know that happened once. There was, like, a video that apparently came out of LeBron James punching Dwayne Wade in the face after Wade's, like, bad performance in the finals. <laughs> now, that, now that never happened. Although that would be think really Sports funny. Center. <laughs> well, so they'd you had to, like, for, like, two months. Yeah, yeah, it asked for, like, your password, and you had to share that thing, and then it, like, still probably wouldn't even work. I mean, I didn't do it. You knew it was spam. So yeah. here's what I do. I just... Like, right now, I'm on my Facebook profile. I don't want to see anything. If I get a notification... Yeah, what are you looking for right now? I'm doing nothing. I'm just on my profile. That's the point. I never go on the main feed. If I want to see what you guys are up to or maybe a few of my friends, I'll go on their page real quick just to see if you guys post anything. But when was I, the last time that I posted something? I'm not sure. <laughs> my, here's my point. I never go on the main feed. Well, the main reason why you might be getting all these spam things may be because you've liked so many things in the past. No, no. This is just because I stuff. have so many friends that all of them get hacked. I feel like a lot of my friends use the dumbest passwords ever. Yeah, yeah see, I only have like... Th- 300 friends or See, something like that. See, I have like, like 2,946. So. Oh that's a lot. Oh, yeah, that's a, how many of them are actually your friends? Two. No. Uh, <laughs> just, just us. Yeah. Just us. Are we friends on Facebook? <laughs> so anyway, uh, the ending of this article just pretty much says, and this is going back to that uh, beheading video of that uh, U.S. journalist, James Foley. Did you watch it when Saddam Hussein killed himself? Uh, Greatest video I, I ever. might have. I don't know. Uh, while it's not been independently confirmed that the man in the video um, is indeed James Foley, his own mother seems to have little doubt. In a statement posted to Facebook, she wrote, We have never been prouder of our son, Jim. He gave his life trying to expose the world to the suffering of the Syrian people. Um, and then it goes on to say, uh, They did not immediately respond to the Daily Dot's request for comment, but, but the announced uh, crackdown, while, while unprecedented, has a logic behind it. As NPR's on the media has reported, ISIS, which has in recent months made major advances in Iraq and Syria, keeps an extremely well-oiled propaganda machine and can benefit immensely from its brutal images going viral. In recent days, Twitter has been actively cracking down on ISIS-related accounts. And that's that. So that's good that they're starting to crack down on those things. Um, Yeah. Could I bring up something real quick? We'll have like a round table discussion. The Hoppy and Super It Show will be right back after this. Do not touch that dial, folks. The Hoppy and Super It Show. 